Upon entering the Yellow Sea, the large Kiev class aircraft carrier was immediately picked up by Seawolf sensors. Seawolf has been lurking in the 200 foot deep waters, slowly crawling near the seabed and waiting for the suspected Russian task force to cross our path. Sure enough, our planning and patience paid off, and the enemy arrived in the area right on time. Tubes 1 through 7 are loaded with Mark 48 AGCAP torpedoes, and Tube 8 is housing the mobile submarine simulator. The plan is to utilize the over 25 nautical mile range of the Mark 48 to engage the enemy carrier, all while remaining undetected, hugging the sea floor. If we do end up being detected by the enemy, it is sure to be one hell of a fight, as there is little to no room for evasive maneuvers. Stealth is the name of the game here. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard USS Seawolf as we commence possibly one of our most dangerous missions yet. We are operating in the Yellow Sea and have intercepted a Russian task force that is attempting to assist the PRC. We are here to ensure they don't get the chance to do that. We are going to deploy the tow array. Weather conditions are kind of choppy here, and the floor is only at 323 feet, so very, very shallow. This is going to be interesting. Let's deploy that tow array. We have seven Mark 48 ad caps loaded. We are going to fire those off pretty soon, I think. And then we also have missiles. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use them. It may be a bad idea if there are lots of aircraft about. I do know the mission report said there was going to be a Kiev class carrier, uh, which is quite an intimidating vessel and obviously is our primary target. We want to sink the capital ships if at all possible. So let's go to conditions here and try to figure out what we are up against. Sierra wants a Kara. Okay, Kara right off the bat. There she is, a second one. What are you, uh, Kirov, Kiev? Let's see, any of you fit this profile here? Indeed, there we go. Sierra 4 fits Concept. that profile. Sierra 4 is if they're all huddled up right here, ship. I'm going to let loose my, my torpedoes pretty quickly. Concept. Udaloy. Sierra three oh my gosh, they are all escort. clumped up. This may be a freighter of some sort. Yep, Dunba. Recognize. Sonar. Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. Let's see, this has got to be another alpha. It could be a sub. Akula, no. Udaloy. Wow, okay. We have our, we have all of our friends here. All operating in a nice little formation. All right, well, how many ships is that? Six, seven torpedoes, two for the carrier for sure. This one, oh my gosh. Good looking ship. Uh, we're going to send it to the bottom though. I don't know how many helicopters are actually airborne on her. Let's see, what's range to target? Not too shabby. Okay, tube one, shoot. Tube, tube one, aye, sir. All right, tube one away. We will follow up. Two, two, two. Aye, sir. three, Concept. Victor. Seven. Uh oh. Classified as submerged submarine. That's uh, that's a target. Shoot two five, aye, sir. Shoot two seven, aye, sir. Okay. Moss, go off that Shoot way. Aye, sir. Shoot that off. Load another one. Load another torpedo, please. While we're up here. Oh boy, the, the Victor here. That's the question. She is, uh, she's getting a torpedo for sure. The Victor is a quite capable ASW platform. We don't want to let her continue to prowl around. Well, 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 I've turned all of my torpedoes in, and it looks like we have another friend, Sierra 8 down here. Submerged contact, she is cavitating. The Victor is cavitating, as they have probably picked up the seven torpedoes in route. Um, I'd be cavitating too, frankly. Let's go... Akula, yeah. I would not be surprised. Tube 8, fire that off. There we go, Tube 8 is away. 
Okay, more torpedoes in the water. That is something right there. Okay, tube four, activate, go find them. All my other torpedoes, I want to race to the surface. It looks like both submarines are on the right flank of the task force, which is good to know. I want to take them out quickly. And then I also want to take out the Kiev before it's able to race away out of range. I'm sure the Utiloys are going to move in and try to engage us. So I'm not too worried about them running away. Let's see if this torpedo is going to be able to pick up the Victor or the Akula. I'm not sure exactly where the Akula is. She is running very, very quietly, it seems. Also, there's a patrol aircraft buzzing around uh, overhead. Less than 50 feet below the keel. Okay, weather or conditions are getting quite shallow. Only 230 feet to play around with. Con, sonar, lost Less contact. than Sierra ideal. Last bearing. Con, fire control, okay, fire acquired. control has acquired something. I don't even know if it's acquired the Victor. I'm not... I'm not too convinced it has. I want at least one torpedo to hit the Kiev. First and foremost. This torpedo's still running hot straight normal towards whatever target it has picked up. This is our decoy here. It looks like it may actually have acquired the Victor 3. We have a minor problem here. It looks like the aircraft are searching for us up here. That maritime patrol aircraft is dropping sonar buoys relatively close to us, only about 8,000 yards away. Sonar, I'm going to change course, 290. Right, the Victor is dropping noisemakers in the water. Fly. We still have the wire, thankfully, so we can guide it in. Come on, Con, let's see if our, control, there we go. Mark 48 has reacquired the target. This will be our first kill of the mission. It looks like it's going to hit in the reactor space. There we go. Impact. Sierra, seven, last the Victor 3 two, is one, breaking up. Five, that is one very dangerous up. threat taken care of. Next target is the other submarine, if we can find her. I think she's over in this area. She is not cavitating or anything, though. So load another Mark 48, please. Although it may be good, a good idea to load a Moss. Con, helm, steady course. Our torpedoes are all starting to go active at this point. Five and three. Three. I want to make sure three at least heads for the Kiev. Come here. I cannot select this waypoint. There we go. Keep heading slow off there. Eight will go for this Utiloy, which is closing in on us. Or the Akula, if we can find her. I have two torpedoes right now heading over to... That Kara, we do not need that to happen. It looks like that, that Kara is a very uh, intriguing target for my Mark 48. So we're gonna have a lot of them go around. I wanna take out this other Kara as well. Tube one will hit CR one, seven, head this way and take out the oiler and continue to just lurk here. I want to drop down just a bit, 150 feet, please. I don't see a reason to fire another Mark 48 just yet. I will, may fire another salvo. Honestly, if a Utiloy and the Akula get away, like, what? Is this one homing in on the Utiloy, Sierra 3? It very well may be. Okay, tube one, come here. Passing 100 feet. Okay, level out right there. Tube one, come around. Reacquire that Kara. There we go. Kara has been acquired. It is quite a foggy and murky night, and Russian ships are about to start exploding. Rather common occurrence, I suppose, but still, these conditions are not good for them. Okay, another noisemaker. Yeah, that's not going to save her. All right, first surface ship of the task force destroyed. Impact, there we go. Okay, I want tube two to come and keep heading this way. Do not want it to go for that Utiloy. There we go, I had a launch right there. That's our sub. We're, yeah. You, you're gonna search for that submarine. Search for the sub. 
utilize firing missiles. Probably rocket assisted torpedoes. We'll see how close they get to us. I want tube eight to activate. Race up to the surface as well. Go for that Udaloy as it chases down, closes in on us. There's our Akula. I do not think she's actually there. That's probably an inaccurate reading. Let's see, have TMA work this out. What's the solution? 40%. And I don't know, we can actually leave the combat area right now. We're so far away and causing so much chaos. Okay, just, just in case, I, I doubt this is accurate, but come on, swing back around. That Akula managed to avoid all of those torpedoes if she is further north of the pit of um, the rest of the task force here. I have a feeling she's kind of down here, though. We'll see. Keep working on it. It's coming up on 60. 65. Okay, maybe she is up here. She's just really quiet. Con, fire control. Hey. Eight has acquired the Udaloy. How are we doing up there? Doing good. Doing quite good. Kula almost at 80%. Show yourself. 87. Yeah, there she is. I. That makes a lot more sense than that other position. I'm not surprised she's way down here. Probably my favorite Russian submarine here. And her conning tower is kind of approaching the surface, and she is running away. Uh, I don't blame her one bit at this point. We may want to reposition, though. I'm going to turn around. Right to zero, nine, All of our torpedoes nine, are starting nine, to go nine. active. This looks good. This looks good. Seven. Come right up behind. Zero, four, please. Three. Go Con, for the car. Actually, no. It looks like five's going for the car. That's fine. Two is going for zero five. There we go. Primary targets are being prosecuted at this point. The Akula, the Kara, the Kiev, and the Doomba. This uh, Sierra Six, this other Udalay. Uh, if it lives, it lives. It'll be able to report back and uh, tell its superiors what exactly happened here. And how the entire Pacific fleet got wiped out. Gone, okay, I reacquired the Udaloy. Torpedoes homing in on her. Begin reloading another Mark 48, please. I do want to start swinging around to get out of the way Arizona. of all of these Noise torpedoes. Noisemaker? The Udaloy popped a Noisemaker, I think. Yeah. Okay, swinging around. Reacquired. Come on. There we go. That should be good enough. There we go. Impact. Zero three destroyed. That was the closest ASW ship to us. That was our primary concern. Now it should just be a turkey shoot. This torpedo. What is this? This is. This looked like a U-set 80. It was probably launched from the Victor. We want to change course. Keep coming right. Problem is, I also want to hold on to all my wires. Okay, activate tube seven, uh, activate three. Yeah, they're all gonna go for that Kara, which is not what I want exactly, but yeah, the Kara is uh, apparently quite loud right now. On, torpedo room. Tube, one ready. tube one's ready, sonar buoys are in the water near us. Jeez, just look at this, what a mess. They're not putting up much of a fight, they've just decided, they have launched a lot of torpedoes our way, but they have decided to just try to run. Which admittedly, not the worst plan ever. Okay, Sierra 5. Looks like she's about to eat it. I'm going to fire... Shoot two one. Two one. And we'll have it swing around to the north and go for Sierra 6. Tube 5, come here, steer towards Takara. Acquire. Noisemaker in the water, zero, throwing off five. the torpedoes. I think we have enough Gone, time to control, reacquire. Weapon okay, weapon has reacquired. Tube 7 has reacquired. Control, there we go. Acquired. 5 has now reacquired. 
Hello, hello. She's kind of masking the Kiev in the back. Looks good. Okay. Tanker blew up. Car is about to blow up. There we go. Destroyed. Seven, turn towards the Kiev. Three, turn towards the Kiev as well. I don't want you going for Con, fire control, weapon a sinking ship, please. Yeah, it's going to be kind of tricky to steer them this way. Let's check on our situation. Okay, tube one. I'm around this way. Con, good, good, good. Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Okay, this is homing in on... Who knows? I think the Kara. Which is just a burning wreck at this point. There we go. Good job. Okay. Tube 3 has acquired the Kiev. Tube 7 uh, is not homing in on the Kiev. Turn away. Okay, I have it guide this torpedo around the sinking hulk and head towards the Kiev because I have a feeling she's going to take at least two torpedoes. Look at this massive wake she is producing as well. That That is impressive. Okay, the Udaloy is a problem. Sierra 8 is a problem. Okay, have this torpedo. Head towards our Udaloy friend. Come up. There we go. And it looks like we're moving clear of all the torpedoes. All right, that was really clean, all things considered. I feel pretty good about that. We still have 11 Mark 48s, three Mosses, and then, of course, all of our missiles. We have not done a T-LAM strike. I keep loading eight T-LAMs just in case we get ordered to hit land targets, but we have not been ordered to do so yet in this campaign. That being said, this mission was quite fun. It was a interesting change of pace. I do want to activate this thing so it does not hit the seabed and explode. This torpedo has a long way to go before it is uh, in range of the Udaloy. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, one, five. The Kiev is evading rapidly. She has two torpedoes hot on her six. Oh boy, that does not look good. Come on. All right, tube three, swing around. Come around, tube seven's also closing in. Okay, fire, fire control, control. weapon has acquired. There we go, impact directly amidships. Blew a hole right in her side. That did not sink her. Not entirely surprising, but look at that massive hole ripped in her. No fire. I'm sure she is experiencing some uh, flooding. Also, we have lost the wire on the torpedo that is homing in on the Akula, unfortunately, and the Udaloy. That may prove to be difficult. You know what? We can have some fun with it, I suppose. Load, load harpoons. Three harpoons ought to do it. Okay, the Kiev's about to eat another Mark 48, and it looks like that noisemaker I don't think is going to be able to. Come here. We'll swing tube seven all the way around. Have it close in. There we go. Impact. There we go. Target destroyed. Fire is broken out on the deck. Look at the helicopters that have been just destroyed there. And she is burning and going down.
our Mark 48, which has lost the wire, has acquired the Udaloy, which was moving to engage us. They are going to do a little dance since we don't have the wire. It will be a tad less efficient as the Mark 48 will have to use its own sensors. That being said, it is homing in on the target. The Akula may be getting away here. Another torpedo has been fired upon us. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Um, I'm not sure how close these helicopters are. I guess I can save my harpoons at this point. Con, sonar, regained contact and I think on the Akula has dodged. Two, two, three. Either she dodged one of our torpedoes or she has been hit by one of the torpedoes and is fighting damage. I'm not sure how many torpedoes the Akula would take. As Con, possible, sonar, she would need contact. to, depending Sierra on how eight, the hit was. Bearing, two, two, three. I don't contact remember receiving baited. a report. We'll see, though. We'll try to establish a better solution on her. She's going in and out of Con our sensors. Regained contact on Reduce speed, Sierra. five knots. Break for ultra quiet. quiet. Really slow down and listen for the Akula. She has a big hole in her side. She's definitely going to be producing quite a bit of flow noise because of the uh, abnormal hull conditions. Not very hydrodynamic, I would suspect. We'll find out shortly though. The Udaloy torpedo's closing in. Come on. It'll probably be a well-timed noisemaker that'll throw off our Mark 48. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Mark 48 is unfortunately homing in on the noisemaker. That's okay. That's fine. We have a torpedo en route. I think we'll be okay and relatively protected from that. The Udaloy has just been hit, and she is going down. Contact is indeed breaking up. The Akula is the only thing left alive Con, at this point, and yeah, we've Sierra already lost eight, contact. Last bearing at this two, point, two, with five, 11 torpedoes faded. remaining, Seawolf is going to break contact. We have destroyed the entire fleet here and one capital ship, so I think we are good to Con, leave. Sonar, We're going to reestablish contact. Sierra, Let's get out of here. Bearing, leave combat. There we go. The only one that escaped was the Akula, 92,000 tons, sent down to the bottom. Another extremely good day for USS Seawolf. Excellent job, Commander. Your neutralization of this high-priority target will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder trans-Pacific convoys. Syncpack sends their regards to you and your crew. Yeah, I think that's going to set back the enemy quite a bit. <laughs> I hate to, hate to say it. Continue on. Constant convoys, cargo ships from North America and Japan continue to ferry goods into the region with minimal losses. This has been attributed to the efficient cooperation among allied naval forces. Meanwhile in the region, food and material shortages have failed to materialize in the unoccupied territories. Authorities urge citizens not to make runs on the banks, but instead show restraint so that the financial system can remain functional despite the ongoing conflict. Fantastic. Let's see what our next mission is. Satellite photo show an enemy battle group armed to the teeth with cruise missiles is preparing to sail from Ningbo. Intelligence estimates that they'll make a conservative patrol in the vicinity of the Philippine Sea. Locate this group and sink as many ships as possible. Another surface group that we are tasked with obliterating. Well, if this is a PLAN surface group, it should be a little easier to deal with. We may even make use of our anti-ship missiles next time around. Anyway, folks, I do hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.